So we're here with Yusuf Saleh. He's a Rutgers Young alumnus. And uh, Yusuf, uh, tell us uh, when you uh, graduated from Rutgers and what your major was. Um, I graduated in May 2011 from Rutgers, New Brunswick. And my major was in political science, Middle Eastern studies with a minor in economics. And I'm a loyal Rutgers boy through and through. I went to Rutgers Law School, graduated in May 2015. Mm -hmm. And did you go to a law school on the Newark campus? Yes, I did. So, so what was it like um, going to school in Newark versus New Brunswick? Well, um, the difference was, I guess in grad school, it's uh, very competitive and you have to be really, really focused. And um, the first year of law school is always the toughest. So you have to really focus on your schoolwork versus when I was at the Rutgers New Brunswick campus, I was able to explore so many different organizations, so many different uh, experiences there. So that's, you know, that Rutgers New Brunswick lends itself to that. Um, so you could find yourself and sort of uh, experience everything, whether you're interested in fencing, whether you're interested in golf, soccer, any, any organization or any activity you could think of, there was, there was a club for that. So, And uh, what kind of clubs and organizations did you get involved with when you're on the New Brunswick campus? Um, I did a lot when I was there. I tried a little bit of everything. Um, the one that was my passion project was the student government, where I served as the RUSA student body president. Um, I was a DJ on the radio. I was a community service officer. I was an RA for, you know, Mettler and Tinsley and... Um, there were so many, uh, I got involved with Amnesty International, Habitat for Humanity, so many different organizations. I, you know, I loved them all. And it was, it, you meet so many different people uh, from all walks of life. And uh, the diversity there is beautiful, just as there is a lot of diversity on the Rutgers Newark campus as well. Um, so the amount of people you will interact with is uh, incredible. And you grow and you learn from these interactions. What's your uh, favorite memory of uh, being a student, you know, undergraduate? Um, favorite memory has to be um, during the uh, first year of Rutgers with the organized houses. We had the Law and Leadership House and we really had a, a bond there because we were all taking the same classes together. We were all having lunch together and um, we played in a game called Assassin where you had to wear a sock wherever you went and someone who took your sock off uh, would basically you'd be out of the game. And we played this for weeks. Uh, you take the sock with you to the shower, every, everything. Um, and I have a lot of memories, you know, from Rutgers, but um, I also enjoyed having a fat sandwich during the last night that they were at the grease truck area in that parking lot. Mm -hmm. So that was memorable. Um, and also my final year at Rutgers, um, just that, that was a wild ride and, um, you get to basically take the victory lap. Wow. Have you been back to campus recently? I have, and I almost didn't recognize it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's amazing because you, you wouldn't expect that to happen. You know, I feel like I'm not that old, but it's just like, it's changed so much, but they're still, um, you know, Willie the Silent uh, around um, College Avenue, so that's good to see. And um, the bus stops have been upgraded, thankfully. Um, I fought for a lot of changes to that. And um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's beautiful. Um, and I hope that Rutgers keeps it, its traditions going uh, long after we're gone, even with all the speedification that we maintain uh, our tradition and our history. So you went to undergraduate New Brunswick, graduate school for a law in uh, Newark, and uh, what are you doing now? Currently, I work at J.P. Morgan. Um, I am an associate in anti-money laundering and compliance. Additionally, I am the councilman for Ward D in the Heights of Jersey City, New Jersey, 
this is uh, the area where I was born and raised in my hometown. Um, and it is uh, my first home and Rutgers is my second. Talk about Jersey City uh, as a kid and now. Um, I've been up there, I have friends uh, who lived up there and my wife um, is from uh, that area. Um, and seeing Jersey City in the 1970s versus now, it's got to be uh, really uh, head spinning. Absolutely, and um, there's been so many different changes. Um, the The neighborhood neighborhood has gotten better, but we still have issues that we need to deal with. You know, when it comes to affordable housing, quality of life issues. There's so much um, that we have to take care of, and I feel like you know this is the time right now. Even though it's not the most convenient time for me to be an an official of uh, city government, you know, with the pandemic and with the global, you know, economic recession um, and the civil unrest like there, there are, I would say Rutgers has trained me very well to deal with this. One of the things you hear about uh, people who are educated at Rutgers is that they have grit, that they find ways to get through challenging times. Uh, was that something you learned more on the streets of Jersey City or at Rutgers? I would say that I learned it from Jersey City first, but then uh, Rutgers really honed uh, and sharpened those skills. Um, because honestly, you can be you can be good with the you know the grit on the street, but you also need to know how to aim it and uh, how to direct your energy and where to put your energy into and. Uh, sort of become a better version of yourself. And Rutgers kept propelling me to that. Like Jersey City laid the foundation and then Rutgers was the one that really took me to new heights. Um, when I tell you about student government and being an RA, um, there's many things, like when I was at Rutgers, New Brunswick, when I was an RA, it helped train me to be uh, a councilman because I have to deal with a lot of quality of life issues, lots of issues that you know, I have to go find resources for, and I would go look at Rutgers, I'd be like, okay, where can I get these different resources? Mental health counseling, um, issue with the bathroom, or anything going on with the dorm, if there's conflicts with certain people, uh, being able to mitigate those. Um, and then when it came to student government, you know, Jersey City has a budget, and the city council has to approve that budget. Uh, when I was at Rutgers, and I was president and even before that when I was getting involved we would have to approve the budgets for all these student organizations and there are over 400 student organizations on campus at Rutgers New Brunswick so um, you would have to go through a very laborious process of going over each budget for each uh, club and organization and Rutgers prepared me for that as crazy as that sounds like it, it kind of primes you into that thinking and then you go to Rutgers Law School and then you're like, okay, now I know how to read, interpret, understand the law and how it changes and how it's continuously changing. So it really is the whole package. If you want, I would say go back to back if you could, Rutgers New Brunswick, then Rutgers Law School. Uh, and uh, I mean, uh, tell me about your family. My family, well, I have a few, uh, I have seven sisters, I'm one of eight and uh, I'm the second oldest. Uh, the only boy. I had a few sisters that went to Rutgers as well and um, you know I come from a big beautiful family and um, I hope to build my own one day. So. And tell me about your uh, sisters and their education at Rutgers. Uh, one of them right now they're, they're both younger than me so they went to Rutgers back to back under you know cl the classes after me. So uh, one of them's a teacher and the other one works as a data scientist now. So uh, Rutgers really helped their careers. And then are um, you and your family the first generation of uh, Rutgers in your family? Absolutely. Um, so, you know, we are first generation. Uh, um, my, my parents are immigrants. So um, really, it is a beautiful thing to have this opportunity to go to Rutgers and just get an education. And why Rutgers versus another school? Um, I'm not going to lie. I was 
initially very sad to go to Rutgers. Mm -hmm. I almost cried at the orientation. Like, um, and I had my, you know, I had these lofty expectations, but um, for myself and this and that. And um, it's because a lot of people in my area went to Rutgers, New Brunswick. And, you know, um, that's, I was totally, totally mistaken. Like Rutgers is such a beautiful school and um, it really is the pathway to opportunity if you're, if you're trying to, you know, build a better life for yourself and your first generation. Um, Rutgers really is the key and they send the elevator back down to the next generation. And it is uh, the, the network you build there, the people you meet there, the things you do there, you know, you will carry with you the rest of your life. It'll make you a better individual, you know, and um, really hone your thinking. And as an alumnus, what um, things are you doing right now? Or how are you involved as an alumnus? Well, um, I am involved with the Rutgers Law um, New York City chapter right now. Um, I do accept mentoring requests from um, anyone. So I do like to help people and anyone who wants advice, whether it's like with politics, whether it's with uh, the business world or whether it's with um, just life in general, uh, I'm always there to lend a helping hand and uh, when you see Rutgers in the news, uh, do you look at the news section, the sports section? What are things that you read about for Rutgers in the news that excites you the most? When we are the first ones to get the rapid testing for the coronavirus. That was, we beat out the Ivy Leagues. And that kind, that shows you the kind of institution that Rutgers is. We are heavyweight when it comes to research and we are heavyweight when it comes to helping, you know, groom the next generation of leaders, thinkers, uh, scientists. And that is, it, it is affordable. It is, you know, um, as good of an education as you can get anywhere at any IV at any school across the US. And I believe it's better because we are that state school, because we have that grit, because, you know, we don't take anything for granted when we go to Rutgers.